good everybody? It's Thunk. Today it's 8.9 and we've got a rally in the jungle. So let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> My team's invading and feels pretty bad. Um, but clearly they're spotted out, so I'm falling back. Anyway, Rally got a little buff um, to her jungle clear. So basically what happened is whenever you auto attack now, it refreshes that passive that you get. Clear out this ward. I love take. Oh, wow, okay. I love taking this first. Um, so... Woo! Got the flash, baby. And I missed my stun. She didn't need to flash. That was going to be easy. <laughs> okay, so... Basically what happened is, after you get that four stacks, you know, I'm still kind of learning Aurelia. I've only played her a few times, right? <clears throat> but as you see, like, we get this stack here after I use an ability on a monster. Well, once you get up to four, you get an attack speed boost and an attack damage boost, I want to say. What is it exactly? Yeah, four dam bonus magic damage. Um... So, kind of helps out with that clear a little bit. And the big thing is, is that it refreshes, <clears throat> excuse me, when you attack monsters. So, um, I'm not going to be able to get it. Well, actually, I, I think I get it on wolves here. Um, so, as you see, every time I use an ability, oh no, I did it late, dang it. Every time I use an ability, I get another stack. Unfortunately, there, I messed up pretty hard. <clears throat> and so, boom, there it is now. And you see it's at four, and now it's reticking. Those things turn gold. And uh, it stays up. So now, from jungle monster to jungle monster. Oh, nice. There we go. There we go, Talia. It stays up. And that helps out her jungle clear tremendously. Smite here for some health, because I messed up my clear super hard. And then we get our W. And that's the other thing, too, is that you can proc it super fast uh, with your W. So I use my E, boom, W, boom, and then Q, and I got it. And there you go. It's huge, huge for her jungle clear. So I decided, let's take her to the jungle. Let's see what happens. And I've played a few games. I think she's strong enough. She falls in line with other bruisery types um, where you go... Oh, let's see where they at. She probably did a full clear, right? Yeah. Where you go, um, you know, warrior in the Triforce or something along those lines. I'm not spotted yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and do these. So you're going to be squishy, and you kind of need to get going fast, right? Oh. Not enough, is it? Oh, it is enough. Nice. So that's exactly what we want. Um, we need to get going earlier rather than later. We knew she didn't have flash, so it was worth using there. And so since your W procs twice, as soon as you use it, oh, boy. That was my bad, probably. I wasn't paying attention to him. That was my fault. That was 100% my fault because I'm explaining to you guys. Oh, that's the drawback of like streaming or like doing these videos is you, you play so much worse. You just do. You play so much worse. Okay, let's see if he shows up. He probably backed. Tom Kent should have backed here. Got the stun, though. This should be his death. I'm hoping. Nope. Wait for that to go out, and then boom, finish him off there. So with your W, it's a hold, right? You charge it up, and while you're charging it up, you take less damage. So the actual definition, Aurelia aligns her blades into defensive formation, getting 45 plus uh, an AP ratio damage reduction. It's so huge. It's really nice. Of course, we don't stack AP, but the Trinity Force is good. Uh, it gives you a little bit. I don't think it adds much to it, though. Oh my gosh, I need to get that down. Not that it really matters. <clears throat> Not going to do a full clear here. So my first question was, okay, do I want to go into Warrior, or do I want to play her like a Jax and, um, you know, skip, skip the first jungle item, go straight into your Trinity Force, and then you start to pop off? Well, I think there's a case to be made for that, but I also think that you... It is kind of mana heavy because you want to get your passive up ASAP so you can start swinging those blades quickly. But at the same time, that costs a lot of mana to do this whole combo, right? 
So sure, I mean, I get it up now, boom, there we go, I've got my passive, but I use a lot of mana, and if I don't have blue buff, and I have to do that repeatedly, uh, it's gonna cost a lot. It's gonna be very expensive to do all of that, so let's run down pop. This should be pretty free, um, provided that Blitz doesn't die running up to him, because he can just run up, knock him up. Alright, get our Q. Clearly there's nothing here. Yeah, just just hit her here. She's dead. She did. Oh, I should have given that to Draven. I totally should have given that to Draven. <clears throat> because he's got all those stacks and he hasn't died yet. It's definitely more worth giving it to Draven. Yeah, see? 150 stacks there. Oh yeah, I'm down for this. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to clear that vision out. This dive is so good. Don't go too soon, though. Don't go too soon. Boom. She has it, so... Nice. Oh, no, I didn't get an assist! That's some feels bad, man. That sucks. But I think we can do this, too, here. Oh, no, she has it. Worth. So clean. Not really. <laughs> I'm coming, friend. Survive. No! I can do this. Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say I can do this as long as I dodge his... Uh, I should use my W. I probably would survive there. As long as I dodge his skill shots, but I messed that up super hard. I messed that up super hard. I gotta get used to her range. So the E range is is large, is large. I actually haven't done this yet, so let's go ahead and give a breakdown on New Aurelia, what she is, what she does, what she about. So they kind of reworked her kit a little bit um, to where she's more of a mid to late game scaler. She doesn't really have too much impact in her lane anymore. That being said, of course, she can still win lane matchups, yada, 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 and they're trying to push her into the jungle too. But um, the big thing is they put a lot around her Q. So now you get resets on the Q, not only for killing monsters, but also whenever you, get, whenever you mark them. And you mark them by hitting with your E, which is a stun, and it's a skill shot. So first cast puts that out, second cast sets a line out, and then boom, and that little mark appears there right and then like i said before we get the passive by using the w and yada 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 so um so now you dance around everywhere um i get my ult here and that's another way of marking it's a skill shot <clears throat> i don't think i want to do that they should be in a position to where he just grabs and they uh win so your ultimate is now a skill shot I'm okay with giving her a blue because she's in a tough shoving matchup with Ziggs, who's going to be able to outshove her, actually. Um, so your ult is skill shot, and I'll show that next time I get into a fight, I'm sure. Where anyone inside it, anyone you hit with it, gets marked. And then, of course, you get your resets there on your marks. So, um, Oh, she's shoving him out. I'm going to go help out Nara here. Just kidding, he's fine. Use my Q here, burn it down. Now I just wait and give it to Talia. She should be able to get it. Boom, very easy. See, that's what I'm talking about, bot lane. We got him so far ahead, especially with the Draven. You get a Draven that far ahead, he is going to be able to destroy anyone he goes up against. So we did our part. We got the three kills, but that dive bot lane and getting Draven those adoration stacks, oh, that was huge. Uh, can we win this? I think we can. I have ult. Let's drop this here. There she is, there she is, there she is. Boom. Oh no, that was a good ult by Talia. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, I'm still with you. We can still do this if she wants. Um, I'm gonna sweep though, because we're not sure where Ziggs is. Marker here, boom. We get the ult there and now you see all those marks come. Boom. And now we can use our Q to get on him with the red buff. And then we got that pretty easy. She should be able to get that. Oh, no. 
do I want this? Oh my gosh, I greeted for it. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I was too indecisive. I knew it. Oh, I knew that was gonna be it. A part of me was like, okay, if I come here and I flash here and then I Q, but then I'm dead to the tower shot. Okay, I need to come here and then I need to E here and like guess here over here or I flash and then I Q and then I, fl I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Just greeting. <laughs> How about we just put it? Let's just call it what it is. All right, it's greed. Uh, we're going to go Merc Treads because they have a lot of CC and magic damage. Probably want to go Hex Drinker too, but I definitely want to go Trinity first. I want to get my Trinity obvious power spike. Warrior, though, she plays really well with Warrior, as you see there, because we go, um, we go press the attack, because for most junglers, that's kind of what you want to go. Like, if I was going to, if I felt like I was going to be in lane split pushing... Okay. If I felt like I was going to be in lane pushing, I would go Conqueror if I thought I was going to split it all. Can he bait? Can he bait? Where's she at? Ha! Huh. You dead. Ha! <laughs> I think she was still dead anyway. Even if Evelyn was there. Evelyn's not strong enough yet to absolutely 100 to 0 me. I'm coming, friend. You don't need me, though. Let's see if we can't find Evelyn somewhere. She's hiding somewhere, probably. <clears throat> I hate playing up against Evelyn. I hate when she's strong. I hate everything about Evelyn. That champion, just being able to burst like that, I hate that champion so much. <laughs> to come, Anyone who can be invisible and come out and one-shot you, Kha'Zix. <clears throat> <clears throat> Kha'Zix, I have a problem with, and I usually put them on my permaban list. Okay, we're not getting it this time, but we'll get it next time. I'm going to do that just to help her shove this. No, no, man. Unfortunate. I feel like he shouldn't get killed by Tom Kench. He doesn't even have, like, sometimes Tom Kench will take the glacial, what's it called, uh, glacial augment, and he'll be able to run up on him pretty quickly, but... I'm coming down, bot side. No, survive, my friend. Oh yeah, nice pull. I think I can clean this up actually, especially with Talia. Yeah, yeah, especially with Talia, we're cleaning this up. No, I'm still going, cause I can flash old here. Does she have Mobies? Oh, she's got level two boots. Where are you going, friend? Where are you going, huh? Oh, yeah. This chase is real, friends. This chase is so real. <laughs> All right. Can Nar collapse? Is he going to do it? I'm still going to chase because uh, I can even go into Scuttler here and do it that way. Nah, not happening. Dang. All right, we'll just do Scuttler. That's all right. That's all right. She got away. She's so fast. Dang. Okay. Oh. Oh, come on. Get around it, Aurelia. There we go. <clears throat> this is kind of risky because they could have vision on me. Because uh, Evelyn, obviously. Oh, no. She's bot side. We just saw her bot side show on the main map. Sweet. I'm going to smite now just for the extra health because I am... Uh, running a little bit low but we get this so they also reworked uh shelly if you didn't know if you don't read patch notes um they made it so she's a bit easier to kill right if you're after the fact um she's a bit easier to feel, to kill after you drop her and the enemy team hits her from the eye etc etc come on nar survive survive friend oh yeah oh very nice oh the pop-off Oh. I use my ult on her. Oh. Oh, so clean. This tally is so clean. Love it. And this Evelyn is tilted. Yeah, that Nar ult was nice because it, uh, it helped stall out as long as we needed it to. Very nicely done. All right, so we're going to drop Shelly here. So now she does... Oh, 
come on. She takes less damage from her charge, so you'll see here she'll do she'll take less damage. Boom. So I think the incentive here is we want you to be protecting Shelly. We want you to play around Shelly. We want you to protect her. Um oh, okay. I might have to flash here. Yep, alright. That's fine. I had my flash, had to use it. That's okay. Um if she face checks here, or even if he face checks, then we can kill him. But she would have to face check. And she has to know that we're here waiting, even though I swept the brush. Yeah. Okay, get our phage, get our stinger, get all the parts, and then uh, we're gonna run to uh, run it down mid. Run it down mid, boys. Of course, in the nicest way possible. We don't like to flame, not here. Not here, not on this channel. No. Wait. Talia. Wait, Talia. You troll. Alright, I'm gonna get... Okay, he got it. I'm coming, but, uh... Yeah. Got him. Oh, uh, come here. Got him. Okay. Nice. Man, New Aurelia is so cool. <laughs> She's so much fun. I don't know how people don't like her. Like, I get it, right? She doesn't do what she used to as well. She doesn't stomp lane as hard as she used to. But so what? She's so fun. Come on. Ooh. Nice. All right. I'm going to run straight down the dragon and get this. Yeah, so what? She doesn't like, destroy lane as much as she used to. She's so much more fun now than she used to be. Are you kidding me? She's awesome now. You dash around everywhere. She does incredible amounts of damage. And when you get some tankiness on her, she's really strong, too. We can use the W just to get our passive here. Okay. Okay, sure. Clear this out. Got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's that chick right there. Okay. I just need to not get hit by her. Bye-bye. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. The heal from Draven saved me. What a beast. I actually can't do anything here, I don't think. I can stun from a distance, but... Nice. Nice. Does this stop? No, because it's true damage, so it doesn't mitigate anything. Okay. That's what I'm saying, man. She's so strong now. It's awesome. You get into the late game. I don't even have Trinity Force yet. Do so much damage. I love it. All right, so of course, with Trinity, usually if you're a Trinity user, you're going to pair it with Sterix. It's really good because it's all about base damages, right? So um, we're going to go into Sterics next, and then we're probably just going to go full tank. I mean, we're rolling, but I feel like getting either a Spirit or an Adaptive would help a lot here. Probably Adaptive. I think Adaptive Helm's going to be really good here <clears throat> in this game because that's repetitive, that's repetitive magic damage, that's repetitive damage. So, yeah. Why did you hit me? Did I auto-attack that and I just didn't notice? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, use that, clear out some wards. So yeah, she's a great dueler now. Um, she's great at team fighting now with obviously her AoE stun and her AoE ultimate, which uh, has a key component to it now, which I forgot to explain actually. It disarms, which is a new mechanic. Thank you, Rito. Um, oh no! <laughs> Yep, you're dead. <laughs> she does so much damage. Oh, man. No! Okay, I did get it. Okay. Your uh, W is a nice way of finishing people off, too. It's a long-range skill shot, right? So if you're not... If you used up your Qs and everything else... Boom. Just like that dumpster in these guys man so um i never i never talked about what disarming is 
Um, disarming as a mechanic. Uh, hold on, I got to, uh, let's see. Who gets the... Talia. She was a beast. She was actually a beast. <laughs> she was actually a beast. <clears throat> oh. Okay, yeah, so uh, Disarm makes it so that you can't um, auto-attack or deal any damage. When you walk through her ultimate, those walls there, you get a massive slow and you can't attack anybody. So it's not like you're CC'd or stunned or anything like that, but you can't actually engage with any damage. You can't do any damage. You do no damage to anyone. So um, anyway, guys, that's it for me. Uh, disclaimer, I don't think Aurelia is going to be OP in the jungle. Um, I've only played her a couple times, and those couple times... I've had a good team where we kind of snowballed. But what happens whenever you, you stall out the game a little bit? It's going to take longer for her to get to those tankier points, and you're going to have to pick your fights and your skirmishes carefully because she's still squishy. Um, and if you don't hit the E ability, her power is just, like, diminished almost entirely. Like, don't get me wrong. She can still auto-attack. She can still deal a lot of damage. But if you miss the AoE stun, if you whiff that, and you don't get your Q reset, plus obviously them being stunned means they're not doing anything to you, takes away from a lot of your damage and your survivability. So uh, go ahead and try it out, but be cautious. Be wary. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'm Thonk, as always. Keep your head up. All right.